Injection therapy for erectile dysfunction is very effective and not as difficult to use as you may think. When I propose injection therapy to my patients, I am often met with skepticism because the substance is injected directly into the penis. Frequently, I also get asked about its mode of action, time for an overview on what's available and most importantly, how to use it. So stay tuned because in this video, I will give you a demonstration on how to inject the drug correctly. My name is Stefan Buntrock. I'm a board certified urologist and sexologist. If you are interested in urological and sexological topics and are looking for reliable medical information, Eurochannel is the place to be. So consider subscribing to never miss out on new content. The first substance I would like to introduce is Alprostadil. What is used internationally varies a bit between countries. Here in Germany, Alprostadil is the standard. When injected into the penis, it evokes smooth muscle relaxation by binding to the prostaglandin receptor. This is because Alprostadil is a synthetic prostaglandin. Prostaglandins are a group of tissue hormones that are involved in repair mechanisms of the body when there is tissue damage or a local infection. Prostaglandins make the body more sensitive to pain. So this is the reason that erections may be painful after injection. According to a recently published review, this happens in roughly 13% of the patients. My clinical experience is a bit different. When used for penile rehabilitation after radical prostatectomy for prostate cancer, I would say that the erection is painful in most patients, but almost never in those who still have their prostate and just suffer from erectile dysfunction. The efficacy is very high and reaches 94% with the right dose. Because of the painful erections after radical prostatectomy, I was very happy when Invicorp was introduced to the German market because penile pain is markedly reduced with this formulation. It contains Aviptadil, which is a synthetic vasoactive intestinal polypeptide that utilizes the same kind of pathway as Alprostadil, only a little further down. The activity of adenosine cyclase is increased, which leads to smooth muscle relaxation. Invicorp also contains phentolamine, which inhibits smooth muscle contraction. Phentolamine is also found in the triple combination by the name of Trimix, which is popular in the US. Phentolamine, Papaverin, Alprostadil. Papaverin is a non-selective PD-5 inhibitor. If you have been following Eurochannel, you may know by now what PD-5 inhibitors are. Viagra and Cialis fall into this class of drugs. There is also a combination by the name of Bimix, which contains papaverin and phentolamine, and Quadmix, which is Trimix plus atropine. Personally, I am not a fan of papaverin because among all agents, the risk for penile fibrosis is double compared to Alprostadil. In comparison, Aviptadil carries the lowest risk for adverse side effects in terms of penile fibrosis, priapism, and pain. Priapism is a urological emergency where the penis remains erect for a prolonged period of time. Overdosing of these injectables carries a high risk so that it is best to start low and increase the dose as you go. When it comes to the injection, it's important to know that you only have to inject it into one of the two cavernous bodies because it will diffuse over to the other one as well. My preferred injection site is at the base of the penis, not in the middle. I think it is easier and much more comfortable to inject there. It is important to drag the penis from underneath the glands and either chose the 2 o'clock or 10 o'clock position. The injection must be vertical to ensure the right angle. Often the patients go too low and end up in the 3 or 9 o'clock positions. This carries a risk to hit the urethra and the injection won't be effective. Stay away from 12 o'clock because the main nerves and vessels of the penis are gathered here. Once you have established your target, insert the needle without hesitation. Ask your partner to do it if you are too nervous. In my office, I try to instruct the partners as well for this reason. However, this is just a video and no medical advice. 
If you are interested in trying injection therapy because Viagra is not working for you, you should make an appointment with your local urologist to learn how to do it. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.